Now the first step is to restart the computer. Simply restart the computer and after the system restart you can check. Still not working. Close if you have overclocking application like MSI after burner, Reva tuner, any kind of over overclocking application running, uh, close it. Do not overclock. Set it to default and close overclocking application. Next step is to try these in launch option. Make a record on the game select properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then we can check. If that does not work, make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can type in dash D3 D11 over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this from here. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to AMD website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. So select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your operating system and then click on find. Now, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view and then click on download. And then run this exe file. When you run this exe file, uh, click on yes to allow, click on OK, agree and continue. Select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Then click on next. After the clean installation is done, restart the computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to, now AMD card users do the, do the same thing. Uh, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card. I don't have AMD graphic. This is just an example. Then select your operating system and then whichever is the latest in driver you can download it install it restart the computer and then check still not working run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance and you will launch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to press alt plus enter to switch to, if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step launch switch to window mode turn off hdr so you can go to uh, graphics settings and then you can turn off the hdr and then you can check lower down video settings if everything is set to ultra you can set it to high or medium and set the refresh rate as as per your monitor refresh rate so you can set the refresh rate uh, you can lower down the monitor refresh rate and then check next step is to roll back graphics driver so you can go to uh, like if the latest graphic card driver is not working after you select the uh, card in graphic card and operating system on this page you can click on view more version maybe you can try the older graphic card driver uh, and then when you install it, go for clean installation over here and then click on next and then restart your computer. Similarly, for AMD card users, you can scroll down after you select your graphic card, click on previous version, select your operating system. Maybe you can try this one or this one and then restart the computer after the installation and then check. Still not working. Install DirectX. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Click on download and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Click on accept over here. Next, uncheck install Bing bar. Click on next over here. Let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, click on finish and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working, then disable integrated graphic card driver. Now make a right click on the start menu. Go to device, device manager. If your computer has a dual graphic card, in my expand display adapter here, in my case, one is Intel, another is Nvidia. So this is the integrated, the Intel is integrated graphic card in my case, make a right click and disable it and then you can launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game or if you face any problem, you can enable the integrated graphic card. Also, um, use Intel driver and support assistant to update your Intel drivers. So type in Intel driver and support assistant. You can go to the official Intel driver and support assistant website and then click on download now. Uh, download it and then you can run this exe file install it and then you can launch uh, you can launch this intel driver and support assistant in my case it is already installed you can launch it this will scan your computer now if there is any update uh, uh, in my case uh, i have to actually repair it 
it's not working right now so install it and after the installation uh, you can launch it it will scan your computer if there is any update you will see download all option download everything then you will see install all option install everything and then relaunch the game next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so nvidia card users launch nvidia app and over here you will see your game now select your game over here you can launch the game from here you can click on play button or you can go to graphics uh, select the game over here and then you can uh, click on play over here and then uh, launch the game uh, if that does not work uh, you can optimize the game now once you select uh, your game over here black ops 7 i don't know why it's showing black ops 6 uh, black ops 7 so when you select the game if you see uh, optimize option like this you can optimize the game and then you can launch the game and then check now if it is already optimized in that case you can re revert the optimization and then you can launch the game and then check also once you select the game you, know, you can go to global settings over here and you can turn off this smooth motion and then launch the game still not working you can disable this nvidia overlay if this is on you can turn it off and then close the nvidia app and then check still not working the next step is to restore uh, this restore nvidia control panel settings now for this you can go to desktop make a right click on desktop show more option click on nvidia control panel once nvidia control panel is open go to help and then click on put a check on debug mode so try launching the game when nvidia control panel is de is in de debug mode select debug mode relaunch the game and then check if that does not work go to manage 3d settings go to global settings click on restore yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, now amd card users uh, amd users try launching the game through amd app and then check the next step is to rename or delete activism folder now for this you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive users folder your username folder app data if you don't see it at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder and then open the local folder now find activism folder so if you have this activism folder you can make a right click you can rename it or you can even delete it and then you can relaunch the game and then check you can even delete it and then you can relaunch the game and then check next step is to uh, delete direct extra cache now for this type in disk cleanup in windows search box and then click on disk cleanup and then over here make sure you put a check on the box which says direct extra cache put a check over here put a check on everything and then click on clean up system files and once it is done now once let it complete then relaunch the game next step is to for uh, for many players um, for few players disabling xmp profile in system bios has worked so if your bios has this xmp profile option you can you can just uh, you know disable it and then relaunch uh, relaunch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game uh, you can enable it once again next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound go to power options now over here uh, in my case I, I have only balanced but if you see power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already set to power saver, you can try balance or high performance and then check N next step is to enable or disable uh, hardware accelerated gpu schedule now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off then relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM so you can check total RAM in Windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and 
if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte, then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that it hits set and then click on OK and then OK. Okay, now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work. Then type in VR Advanced System Settings again and then click on VR Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings over here, click on Change uh, Advanced tab and then click on Change and then select System Manage Size this time and then click on Set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see Restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working, we will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. For example, if your monitor refresh is 240 hertz, you can try 120 or 60 hertz and then check. Next step is to restart Steam or Battle.net as an administrator. So first of all, close Battle.net if you have the game on Battle.net, then make a right click and then run as administrator. If you have the game on Steam, close Steam first, exit, and then you can uh, run Steam as an administrator, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click in the game, go to properties, and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have the game on battle.net, you can go to battle.net and then uh, on battle.net, you have to select the game and then you will see scan and repair option. So scan and repair and then you can check. So I'll show you, you can select the game over here and then click over here and then click on scan and repair. Now the next step is to un uncheck compatibility from steam and the game exe files so type in steam make a right click on the steam and then open file location and then make a right click on steam over here make a right click on steam and then go to properties now if go to this tab if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok launch the game and then do the same thing with the game exe file make a right click manage browse local files and then make a right click on the game exe file and then go to properties and then uncheck this box if this is checked you can uncheck this box hit apply click on ok and then you have to relaunch steam and then check do the same thing with battle.net you can tap in battle.net type in battle.net make a right click open file location and then uncheck that windows 8 thing uh, if that is tech and and do the same thing with the game exe file Next step is to, when you launch the game, if you receive a prompt to launch in safe mode, you can try to launch the game in safe mode. Let the shader preloading be 100% complete. When you launch the game at the top right, it's actually uh, preload the shaders. So let it be 100% complete and then check. Allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open, and then launch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Run the game from the game installation folder. Now, for this, you can make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files, go to the game installation folder, and then make a double click, launch the game from here. And if that does not work, make, go to properties. Go to this tab, run the game as an administrator, and then hit apply, click on OK, and then check. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, you can uncheck these boxes. Follow the next step. Now, the next step is to disable or enable Steam overlay. 
Steam users can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off, relaunch the game. If it is already off, turn it on and then check. Close other overlay application like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, go to NVIDIA app settings, turn off overlay and close all kinds of overlay application. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Reboot and then check. Install Visual C++ file. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. So download both the files. Click on it and then run this exe file. Click on repair. If you see the repair option, if you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you have Razer Huntsman, key, Chrome keyboard, any kind of keyboard or mouse, external keyboard and mouse, which you're not using, disconnect it. Unplug hotas, wheel, pedals, uh, razor routers, if you have any kind of USB adapter connected, dongle connected, disconnect it. Close all kinds of third party application and services from your computer. Turn off or turn on the VPN and then check if the VPN is on. You can turn it off, close VPN and then check. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. Install media feature pack. Now, if you, if you have N version of Windows, then you can install media feature pack. Open Windows settings, go to system and then go to optional features over here and then click on view features and then click on yes to allow type in media feature pack over here if media feature pack is like if you have n n version of windows i have windows 11 home so i don't have n if you have windows n if you see media feature pack over here uh, select media feature pack install it restart your computer and then check and you can even type in turn windows feature on or off in windows search box and then click on turn windows feature on or off make sure media feature pack is checked install it restart your computer and then check Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, and log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go then install the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.